Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick screencast of my web application, Smallbook. It's a Facebook clone made in Ruby on Rails. So let's get started. We're at the site here, we're going to go ahead and log in. Huh, and we put in the wrong username and password. Lovely. We know the validations work. All right, so we're logged in. As you can see, we got a Facebook, very Facebook looking page. Uh, we got a cover photo. We have a profile image. We have a friends icon up here. We have a list of friends over here with pictures and names. User details. Mark Zuckerberg complimenting me on my wonderful new site. Thanks, Mark. And if uh, over here in the profile image, we have this little photo icon that makes us realize we can go ahead and click on it and change it if we'd like. A profile image and cover image. We can also change some of these profile stats. All right, we can go ahead and we can like Mark Zuckerberg's post. You like post six, and there you go, we got two. We can also unlike. Now it's unliked. We can write a new post. Hey guys, what's up? Comes up on the top, and we can also erase it. I could also, if I wanted to, I'm not going to, but if, if I wanted to, I could erase Mark Zuckerberg's post right here, and it would be gone. Mark Zuckerberg could also do that if he were signed into his account. Because it's on my profile page, anything anyone posts, I can delete. All right, so let's go ahead and log out. And we are going to make a new user, Stephen Colbert. Stephen, example, dot com. Date of birth, I have no idea. Create account. Nope. Too many characters in the zip code. Let's re enter the password. All right, so we're in Stephen Colbert's new profile. He doesn't have any pictures. He doesn't have any friends. Poor Stephen. Let's go ahead and add a picture. I saved just a minute ago. All right, so he's got a profile image now. Awesome. Let's go ahead and add a cover image. All right, so we've got a, a little cover image here. Now he doesn't have any friends. Um, so let's go ahead and find some. Seth Rogen. Let's just go ahead and have him add me. And as you can tell, if he's on my site without being a friend, he can't add any posts or like anything or see or even see any of the posts. He can only, when he's a friend, he, he will be able to. So he's going to send me a request. Of course, he can write on his site. Hey. And he can like his own post. Or anyone else's. Alright, so let's log out and log back in. Into my account. And here we are again. Let's see, friends. So we have friends up here. And now all of a sudden, look, we have Stephen Colbert, uh, friend request. Let's go ahead and accept it. 
I now have 11 friends. Um, okay, go back up here, and there he is, Stephen Colbert. And we can comment on his new post. Hi, Stephen. Great to see. Whoa, can't spell. Great to see you on small book. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to like his post. All right, so I believe that about covers it. Uh, this. I don't know if this will come in the screencast, um, but the site also works mobily. Maybe I can do this. The site completely changes on a uh, mobile design. Just give me one second here. All right, and let's go ahead and refresh. Now you can see the cover image uh, went away. And it's just this profile image, it makes it easy to read. It's all stacked. Um, also, if I go ahead and go back to my own profile, I can still edit from here. Uh, friends are still listed, all the posts. So it's responsive design for mobile. Um, let's go ahead and refresh. So it's designed for mobile, designed for desktop, everything. Let's get out of that. Okay. So I believe that's about it. Um, I'm, uh, the design's not entirely finished. I don't like the green bars that come up all the time. And for you tech-savvy people out here, um, the Ajax... There's no Ajax on here yet, but there will be very soon. It's pretty easy. Um, also for your tech savvy people, this is my favorite page of code. I had to make a friend request to go on both sides because I didn't want to use any gems that were, I, I wanted to learn on this. So I decided to do uh, very minimal gem usage. So most of the stuff was created um, by me. No devise, no friendlies gem, no nothing. So anyway, this friend request it had to be created on both the user and the receiver side. So when a user creates it, it creates it on the receiver side. The receiver can either delete it or accept. When the receiver accepts it, it actually takes the inverse from the user and deletes them both. So it's no longer in the database clogging up uh, um, Prashit's storage. So that was a lot of fun, and I celebrated quite a bit when it finally, finally worked. <laughs> but I had a lot of fun doing it. Anyway, I hope you liked the uh, small book, the Facebook clone in Ruby on Rails. And uh, uh, just a quick, let's take a look at some other profiles here. Hi, GG. Post. All right. Also, um, just for fun, let's just go ahead and change the web page to something else. Um, Facebook.com. Oh, not an actual URL. There you go. It's changed to Facebook. So, hope you liked Smallbook. Thanks for watching.